Now this personal protective equipment or PPE as we hear Dr. Shaw and others say is critical to nurses and doctors all throughout the state and the head of the CDC says they are getting it to them as fast as they can. Zach Blanchard spoke to a nurse who knows firsthand just how essential this equipment is right now in their daily lives. This morning, a lifeline to Maine's healthcare workers. Thousands of pieces of personal protective equipment, including N95 masks, set to be delivered to facilities across the state. Really alarming being a nurse on the front lines. The nurses like Andrea Dyer, the equipment is essential. Not only just to protect us, but mostly to protect the patients. But that protection could be in jeopardy. What is going to be delivered next is still not yet sufficient. State emergency management officials say they are doing their part to make sure Maine is a priority given the national need. An ongoing effort. We are certainly facing the same challenges that other states are facing. In coordination with FEMA, more PPE is expected. The problem, it's just not being made fast enough, and the federal government still won't say when. Day by day. Governor Mills telling News Center Maine last week she's pressing the White House. Hoping the president will take his uh, authority seriously under the Def Defense Procurement, uh, Defense Production Act to order the manufacturing of more ventilators um, and protective, pr personal protective equipment. As cases steadily climb, it's an all-out battle to not only combat the virus, but protect the men and women on the front lines. And my family, my colleagues, it's just, it's incredibly nerve-wracking. That was Zach Blanchard reporting. MEMA does not yet have an answer for when more protective gear from the federal level will make its way to Maine. So while today maybe saw some good news, there is still a major waiting game going on.